Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is The Raptor and welcome back to another one of my reaction videos. So today I'm going to be reacting to the new death battle which just came out, which is Raven vs Twilight Sparkle. Now for those of you guys that aren't that aren't really familiar with what I do on the channel or anything like that, or you're just like new completely, um, I did a prediction for this video, um, and I got a lot of good information in the comments about Twilight Sparkle because um, I'm not a huge My Little Pony fan, I really haven't seen any of the series nor have I read any of the comics, um, so like I didn't know a lot about Twilight Sparkle, and I still like to think I really don't know a lot about her, and I don't have an overwhelming amount of knowledge on Raven either, um, but I do really like DC, so that helps, um, at least I think it should, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got a lot of good information, and at this point, I'm honestly really not sure um, who's gonna win this one. Um, I'm gonna stick with my prediction, so like, if I, um, because my original prediction was that Raven was gonna win, and was there some bias into that? Maybe there was, I'm not really sure. I did some research on Twilight to try to give um, as best analysis as I possibly could, um, but I'm gonna stick with that. So if Raven loses, I'm gonna consider that a loss for me. If um, if if Raven wins, I'm gonna consider that a win. Um, I'm definitely rooting for Raven, but again, that's just because I know her longer. If Twilight wins, though, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to hearing why Twilight wins. Um, but at this point, I'm honestly really not sure. Each of them seem to have their own advantages over the other. Like for example, I think Raven's more powerful, but I think Twilight is more versatile. She seems to have like a ridiculous amount of spells and what she can do, but I'm not sure how powerful they really are. And I like to think Raven has more combat experience, um, but Twilight might be like just overall more durable. Um, I might be getting some of these wrong too, who knows. Um, but those are, th that's kind of where I see this. I'm not really sure who's going to win. I will say though still, because I put that in my prediction, fingers crossed for Raven. Um, but now I'm just excited to see what the battle's going to be like. So let's get right into it. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by War Robots. The tactical 6v6 it's multiplayer a little blurry game for iOS, right now, Android, I think. and Fire OS. The game's like if Wiz's love for science and my love oh, for Oh, there we go. It's better. Baby, Sorry about that. Graphics. Install War Robots now by clicking Didn't they the already do this ad on, like, either another Death Battle video or, like, a, ca a Death Battle cast or something? I forget. Guns, I'll just wait until this is over. Silver. It looks fairly interesting, though. And geez, that ad was loud. <laughs> Not even sure if you guys could hear me. All right, death battle. Emotions can be powerful things. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're really gonna talk about feelings and crying and stuff. Well, yes, and how they fuel some pretty powerful. Oh magic. yes, Raven Sound definitely. Like I definitely Raven, know that. Half demon sorceress from the Teen Titans. And yep. Twilight Sparkle, the magical prodigy from My Little I know Pony. they're gonna be using the yep. comics for both of these really characters too. <laughs> Boomstick is just so done with these ponies. Armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle. All right, so yeah, 2D. I already knew that. Looks pretty good though. A strong emotion can drastically change a person. Fear can trigger instincts necessary for survival. Right. Anger can increase adrenaline for incredible feats of strength. Yep. And for this edgy looking chick in a wicked cloak, <laughs> that's kind of her thing. Oh this yes. Is Raven. From the day Raven was born in her home dimension of Azeroth, she wasn't the most popular girl around. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly a good sign when right as you're born, the sky turns black and the whole world suddenly... I don't know too much about her origin story. See, Raven is the so this is kind of new to me. And a fearsome demon. Trigon. literally made up of hatred. Yeah. Because of her heritage, Raven's own mental state holds the key... Watches Gossip Girl power. religiously. She is wow. Wow. A mage who can see yes, an empath. Manipulate emotions. So her powers are all about feelings and stuff? That's pretty lame. Tell that see, I feel like that could give her an advantage in the fight. The manipulation of emotions. So you steal from your boss. <laughs> you don't need to convince me to do that. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, uh, Is Wiz mean, your boss? Yeah, that's pretty intense. I guess. But hey, she's got a lot more <laughs> deadliness packed away under that cool cloak. When she was 18 years old, Raven met her father for the first time. And it, uh didn't go very well. Oh, I'm sure it didn't. And even Dad shot her mom with a grandma laser. Oh, a grandma laser. So much, she finally let loose. This shadowy figure okay, is her I see. soul self. An extension yes, of her, her soul self. An manifestation of the powers inherited from Trigon. Raven right. often wields it as her primary means of offense and defense, though it can function on its own. I wish okay. I had a pet bird that could do what the soul self can. This That'd be pretty cool. Raven fly. Use its eyes and ears, or just punch oh. people like a big old battering bird. Right. It can drain the energy and powers of others, and also oh, drain the powers. That's interesting. I gotta remember that. Talk about convenient, but 
That's cool too. Can she heal herself? But there is one draw. Great sound effects. To wield her power, Raven Beast Boy. Emotion. And too much emotion risks opening her mind to Trigun's corruption. When right. But this is a death side, battle. Where she might want to do that. Kind of. Afraid of the dark. I love that episode. Under a new persona appropriately named Dark Raven. Dark oh, okay. Raven stronger, tougher, and freakier than Evil Raven, Red Raven. Raven. She can shoot lasers from her eyes, disintegrate wow. stuff with her hand beams, and shape stuff like shift. anything. And her soul self is so powerful, it can wipe most people off the face of the earth in an instant. Jeez, However, Dark that's pretty powerful. Abilities are a double-edged sword. By okay. tapping into her father's demonic powers, she risks transporting Trigon himself to the living realm. Oh. Starting devastation across the universe. Does that count as outside help? I'm not sure. Here rewards are like for that. <laughs> 20 bucks and get an autograph from Satan. Isn't that Teen Titans Please, Go, Trigon? Free herself from Trigon? I think that is. Granting her unlimited access to her own magical abilities. Sometimes okay. she even wears white to celebrate the occasion. Or is that <laughs> just for her wedding with Beast Boy? Oh wait, that never happened. Right, These Flashpoint. Gone. Too often for any relationships to actually have lasting consequences. Silly me. I still love Last Beast Boy so least, much. There's Raven's golden form. A oh. spiritual body free from Dragon's influence, which meant I don't know about this. She turned evil and had to be killed by her friends. Of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> it happens a lot, actually. Anyway, uh, yeah. Raven's accomplished plenty of incredible feats. Mm -hmm. She's bent steel girders with her magic, toughed out getting two thousand three hundred thirty-two miles in five minutes. So wow. The wall, not, not her butt. And yeah. <laughs> the Teen Titans <laughs> headquarters and the island it's on. Terra Jeez. alone was barely able to stop the island's descent. And right. together they pushed it back up to its rightful place. This means Raven lifted more than half of the island's weight. Of course. The Titans Tower Island is similar in location and size to Alcatraz, which has a width Alcatraz, of Alcatraz, I went there once. Yards. That was cool. Assuming the most likely granite composition and accounting for a 30% hollow interior, mm -hmm. Raven's energy output would need to be about 14 million megawatt hours. Okay, That's I... enough energy to power all of New York City for over three years. Wow. I was about to say, like, I don't know what that compares to. below the surface of the ocean with no problem. That's, That's almost that's impressive. 700 pounds per square inch, 42 times the PSI needed to crack most bones. Okay, this is and kind of hard to remember all these numbers. Laser blasts from aliens that hurt Donna Troy. Who can survive moon-busting attacks? The villain Sparta's lasers could disintegrate people in an instant, which requires hmm. nearly 3 billion joules of energy. So many numbers, I don't think I'll be able to remember all this. Several of these blasts I'm trying my best, though. Self is also stupidly fast. It was okay. flew from New York City to Blue Valley, Nebraska, and back in less So this would be like minutes. over 2,000. Between those cities is 1,166 oh. miles as the crow, or Raven, flies. Yeah. <laughs> to make this trip in time, Raven's soul self must have flown more than 36 times the speed of sound. Mach 36. Well, when she was golden, Jeez. Goosey Raven, she flew between the Earth and Moon like it was nothing. So plenty That's of impressive. Feats, but unfortunately, Raven's powers have daunting and often costly limits. When the soul okay. self takes damage, Raven feels the pain herself. She's Ouch. like a glass cannon and overtakes okay. her own abilities pretty frequently. But don't disregard that makes sense, though. mere physical ineptitude. When Raven utilizes emotions in combat, she tackles that emotion head on. Right. The more negative the emotion, the more pain she feels. And Ouch. don't forget, she's also struggling not to feel so Satan doesn't show up. With all that going <laughs> on at once, it's no wonder she passes out sometimes. Right. But with the help of her friends, is, she, is that gonna happen in the battle? Family, that could be bad. Raven eventually overcame Trigon's iron grip and defeated him. Yeah, you'd think a guy like Trigon would think twice before messing with someone as powerful as Raven. Raven is pretty dang powerful. You demon filth! They're not demons. Let me show you one. As oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if I ever saw that movie. Maybe I did. I just don't remember. Peaceful Ponyville. The city of Canterlot rests among the mountaintops. There, a young I don't know too much about this, so I should listen carefully. Her name was Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle, yep. I get just the so fed up. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> 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 
script. I like the hold your horses thing. That was good. Scared of quesadillas because they're so cheesy. Okay. Eventful entrance exam. She didn't just get accepted into the school. She became Celestia's protege. Oh. Kind of a big deal. Good for her. Celestia is pretty much pony god of the sun. Not only oh, that, okay. Twilight also earned her cutie mark. Oh, I remember those. It's that magical tramp stamp a pony gets when they grow up. Uh, is it actually? Close enough. Twilight's close enough. Symbolize her life's calling, specifically oh. her destiny in mastering the art of magic. Okay, that's Maybe cool. I can roll with that. Time and hit the books to practice hard. By the yeah, I've heard she's she really adult, smart. She'd read her entire collection of 20,000 books. 20,000 books. What a nerd. <laughs> what stick, have you ever read a book before? Probably not. Manuals count? Sure, why not? Oh, there we go. Twilight <laughs> learned all sorts of powerful animals. Twilight in disguise, gotcha. She knows so many spells, it would take well over an hour to describe them all. Right, her yeah, she has so many. So clear. She can recall a complex spell after a mere glance. But here's some okay. highlights. She can move stuff with her mind, shoot concussive energy blasts, raise magic shields, and okay. rapid fire teleport. She can manipulate gravity, ignite things oh. on fire, freeze others in place, oh, walk geez. on clouds, and even walk on clouds. transfiguration spell. As a filly, she turned her own parents into plants. Talking oh. Weird. Again, she could do that to Raven, maybe. apple into a nest of bird eggs, which... Uh, Somehow. Okay, she created life then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Twilight's magic doesn't just stem from her vast knowledge of spells and history. In okay. The world of My Little Pony, magic is drawn from and controlled by a unicorn's emotions. Oh, here so that's the that's again the emotion the thing. The stronger a unicorn feels about something or someone, the stronger their magic becomes. Okay. Oh, I've always found magic is tied to my emotions. Whatever I'm feeling fuels whatever I'm doing. And the stronger I'm feeling, the stronger the magic. Across gotcha. The history, <laughs> Thank Twilight you. Twilight Sparkle is one of the few ponies to master the most powerful magic of all. Okay. The magic of friendship. Oh, of okay, course. Wiz, I know a metaphor when I see it. Isn't a night out with the girl so magical? <laughs> what? No, 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 that's not it at all. In truth, <laughs> friendship is the only weapon powerful enough to defeat a quester's most dangerous enemies. What? Okay. They weaponized friendship? Awesome. Yeah, hey, okay. You're, you're my best buddy. I, I get it. Forever. I think. <laughs> Where are the friendship lasers? Get <laughs> off me. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, oops, <laughs> Wait, what? I, I slipped. Um, oh my god, boomstick. Twilight's friendship Come on. is at its most powerful when focused through the elements of harmony. When used okay. together, these ancient artifacts are a near unstoppable force. Even capable huh. of overpowering the villain T-Rex after he stole T-Rex. T-Rex, that's how you pronounce that. Along with the okay. Equestrians. Twilight's crown with her personal element contains a powerful magic in its own right, enough to literally change the fabric of reality in a new oh. dimension with its mere presence. Okay. And of course, we got to talk about those wings of hers. She was born Yep, she can fly. But after completing an ancient spell about Oh. What else? Oh, I see. She transformed into an alicorn. A mix an alicorn. A unicorn and a pegasus and a chance to sell just a whole ton more merchandise. Right, it's of course. Alicorn magic is leagues more powerful than a plain unicorn. Oh, wow. And Twilight needed the extra boost to defend Equestria as its newest She princess. seems very and powerful. After Tyrek absorbed the magic from Equestria's entire population, okay. Twilight was forced to confront him herself while wielding the power of four alicorns. Oh. Four alicorns. Where did it become Dragon Ball Z with baby girl? <laughs> anyway, check out how Tara rocketed Twilight straight into this mountain, and she was totally fine thanks to her magic shield. By yeah. comparing Twilight's apparent size just before impact to her actual size, <laughs> I love the freeze frame. Tall, we can estimate the distance she was thrown to be about 145 feet. That's Tyrek many much feet. This distance at 64.5 miles per hour. Ouch. Combined with his estimated weight of over 31,000 pounds, Twilight's shield had to stand up to over 8 million newtons. 8 force. million. You know what? Forget it. I'm on board with this pony stuff. <laughs> Twilight is tough enough to survive bombardment by 4.5 ton boulder. Fast enough to fly over 300 miles per hour without using any spells, and even okay. strong enough to lift but stronger with spell, or faster with spell. That's pretty, is strong that's a lot of weight. A 340 ton bear, and he Ow, whoa. This giant flower tree thing. And How heavy is it though? Magic, she can move the sun and the moon. Wait, what? Yeah, friendship powers way better like, than Like, actually? However, if Twilight has 
unwavering. That's ridiculous. It's her unwavering neurosis. Okay. Oh, you mean how she's obsessed over staying organized, and if one small thing goes wrong, she totally loses it? Yes. She has okay. a, well, difficult time dealing with unexpected stress. Mirage okay. Not, she even makes bad That's honestly me, worse, too, to be honest. To but hey, when push comes to shove, Twilight Sparkle pulls her weight and more. You have gotcha. Magic. You're wrong, T-Rex. I may have given you my alicorn magic, but I carry within me the most powerful magic of all. Friendship? Yep. Oh my god. All right, the combatants are set. Let's okay. Um, but first, okay, so there is an ad. I thought so. Let's just see if I can skip ahead. In a world sustainably sourced. This seems interesting, but I'm just going to skip over it. Com forward slash battle. Okay. That's me, Andy. Are we? Is it almost done? Time is limited. Start wearing this. It's time okay. I was worried I was going to overshoot. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it right there. Let's talk about this for a little bit. Um, I'm thinking Twilight's gonna win this one. May maybe I'm j maybe I'm overestimating her, but I feel like she has she has a lot going for her. It seemed that in terms of physical strength and durability, maybe not durability. Again, I'm not really sure how like the the millions or billions or whatever it was of jewels really compares to her Newtons of force or whatever. Because that's what they do. I also find like Android 18 versus Captain Marvel. What they did is that they um they measured Captain Marvel's speed in terms of like Mach something. It was like in the Mach 200s, but they put um. Uh, um, Android 18 speed in like miles per hour. So unless you know how to do the conversion yourself, you can't really tell who's faster. And this is the same thing in terms of durability. I'm not sure who's more durable. Um, but I have heard from other people that they think that Twilight's more durable. So I guess I'm just going to go with that. Um, but it seems like she has a lot of abilities that could really help her. Um, I mean, like, there was that thing, though, that Raven can, like, what, like, absorb energy and powers or something, or she can, like, nullify it or something? That could really help her. Um, but in terms of, like, whose weaknesses are gonna get the better of them, I'd probably say Ravens are probably worse, because, you know, with struggling so much, it, like, if the fight progresses on long enough, I feel like she might, um, like, lose control, or she just might, um, pass out or something. Whereas this whole thing about, you know, Twilight, oh, you know, she just, um... Uh, if she if she deals with unexpected stress, you know, then she might lose it. But I feel like in a death battle, that's not really going to come that much into effect. Um, whereas, you know, a lot of her abilities, like freezing people in time, yeah, freezing people in time, uh, transfiguration. I think there was even someone told me about how she can um, even like take different forms of magic. Not sure if that would actually um, apply to Raven, but if it does, then that then Raven could be in trouble. Um, and and like it seems like what Twilight can do, like even though she what she fought you know this guy that absorbed the whole population magic or whatever even though she needed the power of four ponies in order to do that um i still feel like on her own she's pretty form formidable um i don't have a lot more to say honestly with that um i do want to say though that raven it looks like raven might still be able to get into um um, Twilight's head, and if she can do that early enough and well enough, then I do think that Raven could win. But to me, it's just looking like what a lot of what Twilight's able to do is just impossible. She seems to be way more versatile. She's more powerful than I thought she was. Um, I don't know. I still, I'm thinking that Twilight's gonna win this one, but I'm not sure if I have a great deal of reasoning for that. Um, if Raven wins, that's awesome. If Twilight wins, that's also awesome. I'm still rooting for Raven. I would really like Raven to win. Um, again, I, I'm not trying to like offend anyone. I'm just, I just know Raven longer and I, and I do like Raven more, to be honest. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking for some reason that Twilight's gonna win this one. I think she's more versatile. I think she's more durable. She seems to be physically stronger. Um, Raven might be faster though. I think Raven might be faster because she can go like Mach 36, whereas I don't think they really said um, how fast Twilight Sparkle is, you know, with the use of her magic. They said without the use of the magic. I'm not sure with the use of the magic, though. Um, but in terms of strength, durability, um, and versatility, and I think she can stand up to her in power, but in a lot of those, and also intelligence, I feel like she just has the upper hand. And I feel like Raven's weaknesses are probably going to get more in the way than Twilight's will. So I'm thinking that Twilight's going to win, but I'm still rooting for Raven. Um, I'm excited for a good fight, so let's just get right back into it. And I'm really unconfident, like, I'm not confident at all with this, so... So I could be very, very wrong. 
Oh, there's Raven. Oh my god. Oh wow. She saw nothing. <laughs> oh, that's actually I really like that. And then they just start fighting. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, this is already pretty fast paced. Oh no, the books. Ooh. I like the music. And they have a lot of the same abilities too. Oh, I forgot about the soul self. Oh man. Ooh, ow. Okay, we're actually getting some kicking in there and stuff. Oh, that was cool. Like teleporting down. That was cool. Ooh, she's lifting a tree. Metrion Zinthos. Uh oh. Why am I saying uh oh? I want Raven to win. Throwing a lot of trees. Oh crap, what does that thing do again? I forget. Oh, is Raven already going into like a super form? Oh wow, what's going on? Oh, I heard about this. Like a want it desire or whatever. I completely forgot about that. Oh, but, it, but she's gonna defend it. I, I I heard about this. Is this just gonna increase her want to win? Oh! Okay. Can you teleport out of there? Oh, she's draining the emotions! I think. Oh! Wait. Did she transfigure her? And if so, did that kill her? Oh, she's just gonna... Oh, oh! What is that? Well, that was odd. Oh my god. Okay, so Raven won. Dear Princess Celestia, okay. I learned that the only thing more powerful than friendship is a giant bird spirit <laughs> riding into me at Mark 36. This okay. was a tricky one. Both yeah. Raven and Twilight possess numerous spells and techniques that could end the other quickly. Yeah. Since they they really could. How many ways they could finish each other off? This fight really came down to strength, durability, and performance. Okay. First of all, it's pretty obvious Raven's telekinesis has been shown to be much stronger than Twilight's. Okay. okay. What about when Twilight moved the sun and moon? That's when she had the magic of Princess Celestia and Luna. And oh. It's all established that only their specific type well, you of didn't tell us that. Celestial bodies. So you're saying you want us to Okay. I I forgot and about that, but still. Well, I do it if that was a big part of my um reasoning, I would have liked to know magic, that she had extra help. Has never shown anything close to the kind of force Raven used to lift the Teen Titans tower. Okay. Raven had the durability advantage too. Really? Twilight shield held up against yes. the head a Yes, I do remember that. Well, Raven's soul self is tougher than Donna Troy, who can shrug off a oh, blast yeah. of 296 trillion nukes. Oh, you didn't tell us that, did you? Oh, is that the, that just the power changing it to Newtons? Okay. Right. Saved her from Raven's soul self anyway. Not only could it absorb Twilight's powers and emotions, and not only was it capable of operating while Raven was unconscious, oh, but it okay. also made a mean dive bomber. Raven's so that's what that was, the soul self saved her. Since it's often been used as a battering ram to hit enemies, we know it has mass, but not exactly yeah. much. However, given its size, strength, and durability far exceeds Raven's own, its mass is likely greater than hers. Okay. Say they're equal, all right? Sure. Adding okay, Raven's sure, let's go with that. 36 calculation, the soul self's ramming force at top speed comes to 15 million newtons of force. Wow. Far greater than what Twilight Shield has sustained. I see, okay. And no pony walking away from that. Plus, Twilight's positive attitude meant Raven didn't have to even worry about pain when using her emotions against her. That's While true. While they each other in spells and skills. I forgot Raven's about that. powerful traits and exceptional soul self earned her a hard-fought victory. Yeah, okay. Raven really ponied up for this one. The winner <laughs> is Raven. All right. So I was actually right in my prediction. Thank That's another guys, correct for me. Episode, That's awesome. That's always how I judge it, based on what I say in the predictions like video, below, not what I say in this video. See the next one. All right. What's next? Who's next? All right. I'm. I'm thinking I don't know these guys. 
or this guy. Jotaro versus Kenshiro. Actually, I've um I've heard that fight be requested before, but just by the names. Like I have I don't actually know. Let me see this guy. Okay, I see him. Um I don't actually know anything about the um the characters or what world they're from or anything like that. Um I'll still watch it because you know I still like to learn about new characters in Death Battle. Um but I'm not going to be able to make a prediction, definitely not. I'm not really going to have that much insight on it. Um I'm sure for some people though that have been suggesting this, um they'll um they'll be happy that it's here. Um so yeah, g um good for them. And um yeah, I guess that's really all I have to say about the next time. Usually I have more to say because at least I know the characters a little bit. Um, but now let's talk about this fight. Okay, so obviously I was way wrong. Um, I got a lot of um, advantages uh, wrong there after looking at it. Um, I... <sighs> The thing, though, is that, like, even though I didn't really talk about the sun and the moon moving thing, mostly because I just forgot about it, um, but even though, I didn't, even though I didn't talk about it, I would have liked them to tell us that, you know, um, that, you know, she had extra help. Because I know that you're, um, it's not supposed to be so blatant, blatant that, you know, you're gonna know who wins before the winner wins. You know, there's still supposed to be some questioning about it that, that the viewer is supposed to do. Um, but if, if, what if that was, like, really, he like, heavily in my reasoning? Like, what if I I really thought that that's the reason why she was gonna win. Then I'm fine. Oh, never mind. She she had she had a lot of help for that. You know, like that that just seems a little weird to me. Um, but even so, I still enjoyed the fight. The animation was pretty good, even though it was a little bit hard for me to follow along with what was going on for a second. Um, but it was still um really interesting to watch. Um, the 2D animation was really nice. I thought it was really nice anyway. Um, and again, a, a bigger complaint that that I have with Death Battle, and again, I'm just gonna end up saying this again, is that I just wish the fight was a little longer. Like um. I guess I just have to accept that Death Battle is making shorter fights nowadays. Like, um, when I look, like, I recently watched something like Iron Man vs. Lex Luthor. And that fight, you know, that was an awesome fight. And the length was, like, really good. And I'm not saying that, like, you know, the, the, the newer fights have to be that long, because frankly, it was pretty long. It was good. You know, if you could make fights that long, that's awesome. But, you know, I don't expect you, I don't expect Death Battle to be able to do that all the time. But if they can make something, you know, like, approaching that length, you know, I still think that that would just be awesome. But even, like, the 3D fights I find aren't really as long anymore more. Um, maybe I'm completely wrong with that, but that's just how I see it. Um, but even so, the animation I still really enjoyed. Um, it, another thing about the numbers, like in terms of the, um, uh, the, the, the pre-analyses or the analyses before the fight, I guess I should say, um, they had a lot of numbers and a lot of different units, which again, I, I, I understand why they do that because they, they need to make sure that there's still some mystery to the winner, um, before the winner wins. But even so, it was really hard for me to make any sort of direct comparisons. It was really hard for me to actually say, okay, so this is why I think this person would win. I think this person would win because I think this person is stronger because I don't know for sure who is actually actually stronger. Um, so I'm just a little upset about that. I just wish that they had, you know, used similar units or at least units that I could have been able to translate um, easily um, just because I don't, I, I want myself to have a good prediction just, you know, I want myself to have a good prediction based on what they give me. I want to be able to comprehend who is stronger and I don't just want to have to wait until after the person has already won you know after I've made my prediction before they actually tell me um so overall this wasn't really my favorite episode um the analyses they were funny enough there were some very funny parts to it which I really enjoyed um I just wish again I just wish that the battle was a little longer and I wish they didn't keep things from us I wish that they had um you know given some similar units in terms of strength speed and durability and stuff like that and I wish that you know um for some of the bigger features um, they're not so ambiguous about it, but that that's just me. If you did enjoy this episode, though, um, th that's great for you. Um, I just think that there have been better. Like, I enjoy Batman versus Black Panther or Black Panther versus Batman more than I enjoyed this one. Part of that might have been because um, I had already, like, I had made a prediction for Batman versus Black Panther, and I um, I really, I know both of the characters, and I really like them, but that's just me. Um, but anyway, that was the reaction. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a huge like. I always appreciate the likes. Um, comment down below what you thought of it. If you thought that uh, Twilight Sparkle should have won this one, then tell me why in the comments below, because I'd really like to know. And also comment down what you thought of the Death Battle in general, what you thought of my reaction, etc, etc. Just comment all that down. And if you could subscribe to my channel, guys, that'd be so great. That would really help my channel out. I react to basically all Death Battles, including this one, this next one, Jotaro versus Kenshiro. Even though I don't know a ton about it, I'm still gonna watch it. I still hope that I'll enjoy it um, overall. Not sure if it's gonna be 2D or 3D or anything like that, um, but I guess I'll find out later. Um, and, you know, I also do 
Death Battle prediction videos for the predict for the Death Battles that I'm somewhat aware of. Um, like even though I didn't know too much about Twilight Sparkle, I still attempted a prediction at it because you know I thought why not. Um, but your view is plenty of contribution anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Even if I didn't find it the most enjoyable, I really hope you guys did. I hope you guys were able to appreciate it for what it was. I I, I like to think I still was able to, but I think it could have been better. But regardless, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.